The Medal of Honor is the highest award given by our country for acts of heroism and valor in combat. This is the story of one hero. Early in 1944, 18-year-old Hiroshi Miyamura was assigned to the Nisei 442nd Regimental Combat Team. Six years later, he would be called to active duty in North Korea. It was the coldest I've ever been in my life. We were told to pull back to the south of the Emchen River. And I was being the machine gun squad leader, was told to hold this position as long as I could because we knew we were outnumbered so bad that it would be impossible to hold it. As waves of communist soldiers stormed their position, Miyamura and his group opened up with 30 caliber machine gun fire. When the enemy threatened to overwhelm them, Miyamura rose from his position and charged them, killing 10 by bayonet and rifle fire. He then returned to his gun, and when it jammed, he manned the last working gun and told his men he would cover their retreat. Our own artillery started falling now in my position, so I realized then they thought everyone was off of the mountain. And I ran into an enemy, I bayoneted him, and he had a grenade and he threw it at me and I kicked him back and it went off. I ran until I just dropped. The voice you said to get up, you're my prisoner. A bitter month-long journey led to a POW camp where he was to be held captive for the next 27 months. In the summer of 1953, Miyamura was turned over to U.S. authorities at Freedom Village in Panmunjom. He was debriefed and then led out to meet his brigadier general, who told him that he was to receive the Medal of Honor. Until I saw that flyer waving in the breeze that I know, I've learned what it represents. I hope one of these days they will learn of the sacrifices that a lot of these men and women have made for this country. Find more at moments.org.